I came back to Africa to hunt uh, Cape Buffalo because uh, I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Hunting dangerous game uh, brings uh, your sport to the top of its game and your senses are incredibly acute. That's a higher level of what a hunter might want to do. It is never easy to explain what compels a hunter to place himself in the path of danger. But this is a quest which Wolf seems fated to fulfill. I don't think we'll get in there while they're in the jess. It's too thick, eh? The wind's swirling a bit, but what we want to do is this Mapani we're in now. They look like they're walking towards that. Yeah, so we can catch them in front. Quite frankly, I'm uh, pretty apprehensive. Um, I know how powerful these buffalo can be. I was concerned about a lot of, lost a lot of sleep last night, thinking about what might happen in, uh, in the bush today. I saw one, one bull, but he looks nice. We're gonna have to push around here now. It's a good old bull, come. The wind was very uncertain and swirling. We were in a little bit of a valley. Um, the buffalo picked up our wind and they spooked. You never know whether you're going to be able to get a shot or not. Often the animals are grouped up too tight and the other big factor is the brush. A buffalo is very, very easy to hide in this brush. It's just incredible to me how an animal this size can go through this thick uh, underbrush. Um, here we call it Jess. It's going to be a long, hot day. It's very, very physically demanding on everybody. You can only carry so much water. The terrain varies and when you get up to it, it's an intense concentration for often only a couple of seconds, maybe a minute, and it's all done. This is a part of Africa uh, that most people just don't want to see. It's not all just shooting and collecting uh, trophies comes down to just sometimes a lot of sweat and hard work. We've lost the uh, track momentarily. Um, we're out here in the heat and it's, uh, we're not carrying a lot of supplies. We haven't eaten. Uh, we're several miles away from where we were this morning and uh, water is becoming uh, an issue. So uh, we'll just see what has to happen. I hope we, uh, we can get back on this uh, track quickly. Yeah, I think the trackers are giving it up. I can see them sitting up down the hill here. Trackers did give it up. Yeah. I'll take my cue from them. This is going to be really tough work. Yeah. My legs are uh, barking at me. I'm sure everybody else is, uh, feels about the same way. <sighs> a little bit disappointing right now. I guess I'll cry in my beer this evening. Terribly gored by a buffalo seven years ago, hunter Noah Wolf has returned to the same area to confront the animal that nearly took his life. There's a river not too far from you where they might, they're more than likely going to drink. Eh? Okay. That's a pretty good sized track. Yeah. There's always a chance I've seen another bumping into another dugger boy or seen another dugger boy along the way. They like this area, yeah. Let's do it. It's gonna be tight in here. Guys, and I spill that one of it. Let's move around. We want to be able to get a shot at it. Wolf trailing behind a buffalo in thick brush is like a race driver getting behind the wheel after a fiery crash. He's going into this river, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming along. Yeah, I am. Okay. He's sacking, right? Yeah, he's sacking. So I wait for he's him. Looking, yeah, he's looking for a place. Okay. Bad memory. Just watch where you stand. He's, he's hearing us, that's why he's going. 
The plot, as they say, thickens. An ill-tempered lioness has taken it into her head that this is her exclusive hunting area. Lioness. There's no doubt the Dugger boy heard these roars too. And like Elvis, he's left the building. There seems no alternative for Wolf and Van der Merwe but to turn back toward camp. Africa, though, is like a book with a new plot twist on every page. And after only a few yards along the river course, another buffalo is spotted. Here it Come. Come around, Jeff. Yeah? Right, in between the eyes. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Hold on. All right. Aren't they strong? Hey, they're tough animals. Unbelievable. That is very similar to the one that uh, just about took my life. I mean, just a couple miles from here. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is all. But, this I mean, is a bit of turn off. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to this you, man. This is a bit of turn off. Thanks to you. Lights out, old boy. Yeah. He's got yeah, a big yeah. boss, huh? See all these old scars, huh? Yeah. From but fighting. Look at all the scars on his neck. The boss, look at from, from fighting, it's been broomed down and even he can see where it's been chipped. chipped. And gored and this is an old warrior. I couldn't be more pleased. Good. Uh, he's a warrior. He's a hell of a bloody Aren't they just boy. magnificent? Now, I have to tell you, I'm apprehensive. Anytime a, a buffalo starts running after it's shot, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I get pretty nervous after that happens. I think when you've been almost killed by an animal and then you go out and hunt it, you look at things completely different to how, how anybody else does. I, I'm pretty sure he was having flashbacks of the last buffalo that he saw running towards him. You've got a, a very clean, humane kill shot on this buffalo and it, all of a sudden it reappears and it's running directly towards you. And for that split second you go, here we go again. I felt very good to have that animal on the, uh, on the deck. Sun just went down. You yeah. know, we ran into that lion about what three, four hundred yards up the riverbed. No, she's not far. We got to get this thing out of here tonight, or, or it's going to be li lion, lion bait. bait. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll have to recover tonight. Eh?
Africa calls to me. I love it here. There, there's a piece of me uh, that I left in the bush seven years ago. It's like falling off a bike. You've got to get back on and you have to do it again. And if you don't, there would have been a hole left in my life. I needed to come back and do it right this time. Dangerous game hunters are after that challenge of hunting an animal that can potentially kill you. People just keep coming back and coming back and coming back and the reason for that, you never know what's going to be over the next ridge and that is what keeps the stakes so high. Noel has been hurt himself. He knows firsthand what a buffalo can do. This is as much excitement a person can have. My first encounter with a Cape Buffalo, I'll call it a draw. Uh, this time it was Hunter wins.